we are going to see unseen passage in some exams uh, passage is given as unseen and poem is also given as unseen passage but sometime in some exams a uh, poem and passage both are given as seen it means already it's given in the text and questions are given on the basis of that uh, prose or paragraphs okay let's see some important points about comprehension that will help you to tackle the unseen passage in exam so number 1 comprehension is the understanding and interpretation of written text and next point is a comprehension usually consist of a passage and questions based on the on the given passage so now we are seeing this comprehension is the understand is the understanding and interpretation of written text so you are able to comprehend the first point when you read anything like magazine in the newspaper any prose taken from the text and second point is a comprehension i have written c in short a comprehension usually consist of a passage and questions based on the given passage so questions are always given on the basis of that passage now let's see another important point the passage may be factual or argumentative and fourth point comprehension can also consist of a poem as i have said previously sometime poem is also given to comprehend fifth point comprehension is very important and can be used to develop one's reading and writing skills to develop to expand one's vocabulary to help one 
grasp information. So comprehension is the understanding and interpretation of written text. It means uh, the text is given in front of you. You have to read quickly, rapidly and then you will uh, have a general perception on that topic. That is called your understanding uh, of that written text. Next is comprehension usually consists of a passage and questions based on the given passage. So generally questions are given on the based on that passage. So passage comes in comprehension. You have to comprehend the passage or the poem or any extract is given. Factual or argumentative. As I said sometime uh, factual things are given in the uh, in the passage because passages mostly are taken from the newspaper from the famous writer's book or from any story. So these passages are used and those are based on factual description on facts and sometime it becomes argumentative. Argumentative passage is a bit difficult to tackle. Comprehensive comprehension can also consist of a poem or a prose. So just now I have said sometime poem also uh, can be given as a seen or unseen passage and sometime prose. Prose any extract taken from some writer's book or from the magazine. Comprehension is very important and can be used. Now the question is why comprehension type of question is given to you in, the, in your examination for the following reasons. To develop one's reading and writing skill. So this is a very important reason. Uh, in English there are four skills you are learning, reading, writing, listening and speaking. But comprehension passage, reading, writing skill, it specifically develops your reading and writing skill. When you read and then on the basis of that logic you follow, you understand and then you write the answers. So it develops your reading and writing skill. To expand one's vocabulary is very important. The more you read any text, any prose from the newspaper, magazine, uh, journals, so the more your vocabulary will increase. So you will have a wide range of vocabulary. To help one grasp information. Many people read, but there are only few who really grasp the information given uh, in that passage. So it's uh, very important to grasp information, the main points, main ideas given in that passage. That's called reading. The study of the art of comprehension enables want to comprehend the main idea. So the study of the art of comprehension. So reading is an art, comprehend, uh, comprehension is also an art because you have to develop the habit of reading. So reading of uh, as I said from various books and resources and so when you develop that art and then uh, you are enabled to comprehend the main ideas. As soon as you read in your brain, so general main ideas are just grasped into your mind. Contain the passage and to answer the questions that follow the concerned passage. So, so in the sixth point, what is more important is uh, to comprehend the main ideas given in the passage. Next is that can be developed through diligent practice. How you can very well comprehend the passage is a challenge for you. You want to write all your answers correct in that uh, unseen passage given as a 15 or 10 marks. Then you should able to grasp the whole general ideas, the main ideas given in the passage. So let's see what's the next point 
okay dear students i just would like to use a bilingual language uh, and i'll try to explain this thing in nepali so uh, first point is comprehension is the understanding and interpretation of written text bhaneko comprehension bhaneko kunai pani kura lai hamle padhe padhne kura lai tyale bujnu ho tyale kun level ma hamle bujchau haina त्यो अंडरस्टैंडिंग अनि इंटरप्रिट बुझे तेल कुन अर्थ में हमें एक्सप्लेन करने तो अंडरस्टैंडिंग एंड यूजली कंसिस्ट अफ अ पैसेज अभी कंप्रिहेन्शन में पैसेज देखा कुछ न्यूज पेपर बा जर्नल बा किताब बा फेमस राइटर्स को किताब बा अज एंड क्वेश्चन्स बेस्ड ऑन द गिवन पैसेज अभी पैसेज में आधार आधारित क्वेश्चन्स प्रश्न देखा अभी ते प्रश्न पढ़े अस को उत्तर हल कर पर्ने एंड थर्ड पॉइंट फैक्चुअल और आर्ग्युमेंटेटिव प्राय यो कंप्रिहेन्शन पैसेजर कंप्रिहेन्सिव पैसेजर से खासगरी जो हम दिन प्रतिदिन को जो घटना में आधारित हो फैक्चुअल फैक्चुअल और आर्ग्युमेंटेटिव आर्ग्युमेंटेटिव जिसमें लजिकल कुछ लजिकल सिक्वेन्स लजिकल कुरा बहस अस्त कुछ देखा सो ते भर फैक्चुअल रर्ग्युमेंटेटिव टाइप को अनसिन पैसेजर कहीं कहीं एक्जाम में आँच कंप्रिहेन्सन कैन अल्सो कंसिस्ट अफ पोएम कहीं में पोएम हो कविता अस में गद्य हो कंप्रिहेन्सिव इज वेरी इंपोर्टेंट एंड कैन बी यूज कंप्रिहेन्सन हमें कें चाहिए कें एक्जाम में देखा हम जिसको कारण के होने तेल हम रिडिंग पढ़ने क्षमता विकास कर राइटिंग स्किल अखने पढ़ने रेखने लेखने पढ़ने वाने जो सर तो किताब हेरा पढ़ने होना तो पढ़े तेस में लेखे मेन आइडियाज हमें कति को हमी में क्षमता छो गई ने बुझने तो नहीं हम रिडिंग हो इंग्लिश में रिडिंग स्किल अभी राइटिंग स्किल कोई विषय वस्तु हमें तो कसरी हमें लॉजिकली प्रस्तुत कर सकता आपको आइडिया एटा जो हम सोच आपको ओपिनीयन हो कसरी प्रस्तुत करने भाई तो राइटिंग हो सो कंप्रिहेन्सन को मुख्य फायदा इंपोर्टेन्ट के हो रिडिंग राइटिंग स्किल धेरे एकदम राम टू एक्सपैंड वंस वोकैबलरी अर हम जो वोकैबलरी हो इंग्लिश में जस्तु वर्ड्स को मिनींग एकदम लिमिटेड हो ये पैसेज हज धर पढ़ने बानी गए अरुण अरु किताब मैगजीन अभी तेल हम वोकैबलरी वर्ड मिनींग हम धर बढ़ राम हो सो द मोर यू स्टडी वोकैबलरी द मोर यू कैन कंप्रिहेड द पैसेज वेल हेल्प वन ग्रास्प इन्फर्मेसन अस्ते पैसेज पढ़ने बानी रिडिंग बड़ी रिडिंग करने बानी भो अस में भाग इन्फर्मेसन कसरी पढ़ने विषय वस्तु कसरी टैकल करने अन्फर्मेसन जनरल इन्फर्मेसन सूचना कुरा भैर संसार में हम नजदीक को वातावरण में सब हमें था पाँच द स्टडी अफ द आर्ट अफ कंप्रिहेन्सन इनेबल वन टू कंप्रिहेड द मेन आइडिया कंटेन इन द पैसेज एंड टू आंसर द क्वेश्चन्स दैट फलो कंसर्न पैसेज या भन्न खोजे कुछ ते हो जो मेन पॉइंट्स हो मुख्य कुरा चीज हमें पढ़ा खेल हमें कें पढ़् तेस में मुख्य कुरो के तेस में हमें के इंट्रेस्ट लगने कुने कुछ कसले पोलिटिकल कुरो इंट्रेस्टिंग लगे कसले सोशल लग्न सकता सो मेन मेन पॉइंट्स मेन आइडियाज मुख्य कुरा अख्य विषय वस्तु मुख्य विषय वस्तु के होने हमें तो रिडिंग पैसेज में हे दिस आर्ट कैन बी डेवलप थ्रू डिलिजेंट प्क्टिस अभी कंप्रिहेन्सन स्किल डेवलप करने तरीका के होने धर प्क्टिस करने धर प्क्टिस करने अर्थ धर कि पढ़ने आपको टेक्स्ट भाग बाहर न्यूज पेपर मैगजिन्स संबंधित साइंस फिक्सन तस्तर पढ़ पढ़ा खेल हम वोकैबलरी बिल्डअप हो कंप्रिहेन्सन स्किल राम होनी हमें मेन आइडियाज कसरी खोजने भाई था
there are certain guidelines uh, to tackle the unseen passage in the exam so if you keep these things in your mind it will help you a lot now let's see read the passage once how many times once in order to understand the gist of the passage and remember you have very less time in exam exam ma the time time ekdam thorai huncha haina ani time management garnu paryo passage le padera bujhnu paryo ani questions pani garnu paryo so read once re ek choti ekdam chitto padne read the passage once in order to understand the gist of the passage त्यो पैसेज में के लेखे मुख्य बुदा के हो मुख्य विषय वस्तु के भन्न खोजे तो बुझ्न ले सर एक चोटी पढ़ने नेक्स्ट पॉइंट रीड द पैसेज सेकेंड टाइम एंड आइडेन्टिफाई द एसेंशियल पार्ट्स अभी पैसेज फिर एक चोटी सेकेंड टाइम पढ़ने अभी सेकेंड टाइम पढ़े पीछे तेल सर तेस में मुख्य मुख्य आइडियाज आइडेन्टिफाई करने सेकेंड टाइम एंड आइडेन्टिफाई द एसेंशियल पॉइंट्स अभी दोसरोंचोटी पढ़ाखे मुख्य बुदा तो आइडेन्टिफाई करने तो सकता आई वुड लाइक टू गिव यू अ सजेसन यू कैन अंडरलाइन विद योर पेन्सिल आपने पेन्सिल ने फर्स्ट टाइम पढ़ाखे सर आप जो कुछ इंपोर्टेंट लग जनरल आइडिया अंडरलाइन करने अकेंड टाइम पढ़ाखे जो 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 कुछ की वर्ड्स हो मुख्य आइडिया हो रिपीट करो कुछ जोड़े होनी थर्ड स्टडी द सेट अफ क्वेश्चन्स थरली दुईचोटी पैसेज पढ़ी सके हमें अब थर्डचोटी के क्वेश्चन्स जो क्वेश्चन्स देख सीनोनिम होता एंटोनिम्स होता अू फल्स होता अवेसन्स तो सर एकचोटी क्वेश्चन्स पढ़ने दुईचोटी पैसेज पढ़ने अभी थर्डचोटी क्वेश्चन्स पढ़ने रिफर टू इच क्वेश्चन्स एंड लोकेट द आंसर इन द पैसेज देन व्हाट यू हैव टू डू इज आफ्टर रीडिंग दोज क्वेश्चन्स यू ट्राई टू फाइंड आउट द आंसर फ्रम द पैसेज अवेसन्स पढ़ी सके तो क्वेश्चन्स को आंसर अगि हमें पढ़ाखे सर हमें कहीं ना कहीं आइडिया हो कि फर्स्ट पाराग्राफ में कि फोर्थ लाइन में कि फिफ्थ लाइन में एंड अकैन करने हमें आपको आँखा अफ्नो माइंड ने के करने तो क्वेश्चन पढ़े तो इसको आंसर लच क्वेश्चन्स लोकेट भाई है लोकेट भाई चिन्ह लाने लोकेट द आंसर्स इन द पैसेज आप पढ़े पैसेज में अगि भी पेन्सिल अंडरलाइन कर अल फिर लोकेट करने यो वाला यो लाइन में मैं खोजे आंसर पाने सकता यूजुअली द क्वेश्चन्स अपियर इन क्रोनोलॉजिकल अर्डर एवं खास कुरो ध्यान में राख् पर्ने के हो प्राय क्वेश्चन्स एट जो क्रमिक रूप से एटा जो कहानी हम चले पैसेज में ते अनुसार क्वेश्चन भी देख क्रमिक रूप से सिक्वेन्स में तो देखे तो फिर तो पैसेज पढ़े तेज को आंसर ठेक्का ठेक्का हमें भेटिश तो राम हे द आंसर सुड बी रिटर्न इन द प्रपर अर्डर फर इच अफ द क्वेश्चन जस्तु एक्जाम में स्टूडेंट्स ने के जो क्वेश्चन नंबर वन को ए बी सी डी यो क्वेश्चन समथिंग के सोदे है अभी स्टूडेंट ने के सी पैला कर दी बी ए जो मन लगे पैला कर दी अर्डर नहीं बिगाड़ी सो यू सुड नेवर डू दिस के प्रेजेंटेशन प्रस्तुतिकरण में फरक पर्स अभी टीचर ने हेखे एक्जामिनर ने हेखे कपी में केयरलेसली देखि सो यू सुड ट्राई टू मेन्टेन द अर्डर जो वेले क्वेश्चन्स सोधे यू राइट द क्वेश्चन एंड अर्डर वेरी प्रपरली and then it will help you to do the things systematically and in uh, and in an organized way next is answer the questions in your own words using keywords from the passage very often i have seen what students do is uh, they just copy uh, five six lines from the passage and write it as answer which is not appropriate so you have to write answer in your own words it shows that you are able to comprehend the passage properly uh, answer lekhda keri jaile pani afno shabd ma lekhnu parcha 
त्यो ठ्याक्कै त्यो प्यासेजमा जे लेखेछ त्यो ल्याङ्ग्वेज कपी गर्नु हुँदैन अनि त्यसले के बुझिन्छ भने विद्यार्थीले पढ्दाखेरि त्यो कम्प्रिहेन्ड गर्नु सकिएन सो त्यो अर्थलाई बुझ्नु आफ्नो पर्सपेक्टिभमा बुझ्नु द्याट बिकम सब्जेक्टिव एन्ड सो आफ्नो पर्सपेक्टिभमा कसरी बुझ्ने अनि त्यसलाई कसरी ट्याकल गर्ने वेर डिड ही गो भनेर जुन टेन्समा क्वेसन सोधेको छ त्यही टेन्समा आन्सर दिनु जरुरी छ लाइक वेर डिड ही गो भन्ने छ भने ही गोज टु मार्केट भन्नु मिल्दैन ही वेन्ट टु मार्केट बिकज पास्ट टेन्समा क्वेसन सोधेछ भने हामीले आन्सर पनि पास्ट टेन्समा दिने प्यासेजमा जुनसुकै टेन्स युज गरे तापनि हामीले आन्सर लेख्दाखेरि चाहिँ जुन टेन्समा हामीले क्वेसन सोधेछ त्यही टेन्समा हामीले आन्सर लेख्नुपर्छ सो इट विल बी भेरी एप्रोप्रिएट एन्ड हेल्पफुल टु यू सो द आन्सर सुड बी रिटर्न इन द सेम टेन्स सो द लास्ट पोइन्ट जस्ट आई ह्याभ मेन्सन द आन्सर सुड बी रिटर्न इन द सेम टेन्स इन विच क्वेसन हेज बिन आस्ड इरिस्पेक्टिभ अफ द टेन्स इन द प्यासेज प्यासेजमा जुनसुकै टेन्स युज गरे पनि आन्सर लेख्दाखेरि चाहिँ क्वेसन कुन टेन्समा सोधेको छ सिम्पल प्रेजेन्टमा सोधेछ कि प्रेजेन्ट पर्फेक्टमा सोधेछ कि वट एभर इट इज आस्ड सो लेट सी द नेक्स्ट पोइन्ट सी द नाइन नाइन्थ पोइन्ट कम्प्रिहेन्सन इज अ टेस्ट अफ रिडिङ एन्ड राइटिङ स्किल कम्प्रिहेन्सन मिन्स इट इज द टेस्ट अफ रिडिङ एन्ड राइटिङ स्किल्स अफ एनी लर्नर एभ्री पर्सन अप्रोचेस अ पोएम्स प्यासेज फ्रम अ डिफ्रेन्ट पर्सपेक्टिभ सो इट बिकम्स अ सब्जेक्टिभ द आन्सर्स आर सब्जेक्टिभ सो यू ह्याभ अ वे अफ थिङ्किङ सो इच पिपल युज टु थिङ्क इन अ डिफ्रेन्ट वे दे ह्याभ देअर ओन थट्स पर्सपेक्टिभ सो वेन यू रिड द प्यासेज द वे यू अन्डरस्टुड मे नट अन्डरस्टुड इन द सेम वे बाइ समवन एल्स सो योर आन्सर बिकम्स सब्जेक्टिभ देर फोर वेन यू राइट योर आन्सर यू सुड राइट इन योर ओन वर्ड्स बट अंडरस्टैंडिंग द जनरल कॉन्सेप्ट वट द क्वेश्चन डिमांड्स इफ अ पैसेज हेज टू बी गिवन अ टाइटल कलेक्ट अ टाइटल बेस्ड ऑन द मेन आइडियाज मेन इवेंट और मेन क्यारेक्टर Some t- the question is given write a suitable title for the given passage that time what you have to do is as you had already read the passage so you have to collect the main ideas and then you have to make three four titles not only just a single title you have to take three four titles and based on those main ideas which one is the very very appropriate one you have to select the title because uh, title is always surrounded with the main idea and main idea is always surrounded with the supporting idea so whenever you select the title it should be based on the main character or main points main ideas and uh, other important thing is you have to avoid spelling mistake mistakes and grammar and punctuation errors uh, sometimes students Uh, used to make mistake in a very simple spellings also and that shows a blunder so you should avoid spelling mistake and simple grammar structure and punctuation means when you finish your statement then you have to give full stop and then if you are writing a question mark you have to give exclamatory mark or so these are simple rules of punctuation like comma okay so now i was talking about uh, this comprehension comprehension is a test of reading and writing skill comprehension bhane koi reading or writing ko test linu ho reading and writing skill ko test linu nai comprehension ho and the next one is uh, whenever you read your passage uh, you have to uh, answer in your own words because it will help you it shows that you have understood and comprehended the passage uh, very nicely and deeply if a passage has to be given a title collect a title on the main ideas just now as i have said um so if you are told to write a title then you have to select a main ideas and make two three titles and which one is appropriate right this is the title and avoid uh, spelling error 
and grammar and punctuation mistake and cross check the answers the very important uh, last but not the least is you have to cross check the answer you have finished uh, your this unseen passage questions everything true false synonym and once more you have to check the each questions that you are able to answer correctly or have you left any question mistakenly so you have to cross check the answer by reading the questions once again so last ko yo bhanne artha chai ke ho bhane unseen passage ko questions gari sake pachi last ma ek choti feri questions padne an tesko answer milyo ki milaina feri ek choti cross check garne tela ani tyo answers kunai answers chuteko cha ki uh so when you read it so you will get get it so these are the main points you have to keep in mind to tackle the comprehension passage so as i have already said to you uh it requires a good reading and writing skill if you don't have good reading skill and then you are not able to uh, solve the comprehensive passage because when you have good reading in the sense you must have the habit of reading some goods uh, good magazines articles from the different sources so that you are able to grasp the general idea written by the writer so limited vocabulary those who have limited vocabulary they will have lots of problem to do the comprehension passage because because of the limited vocabulary you are not able to uh, grasp the main points which writer wants to convey to the reader identify the main ideas so and you are able to identify the main ideas given in the passage it will help you to do your answers correctly deeper understanding of the text so deeper understanding of the text in the sense when you read those main points those text how you understand it how you perceive that text is the main point so let's uh, recapitulate what are the general points we have uh, read today uh, to tackle the comprehensive passages first of all uh, you have to read the text very quickly read the text very quickly so read the text very quickly for the first time and underline with your pencil as i said and the second time read the text second time and underline with the pencil some main ideas and thirdly read the questions so after uh, reading twice your passage now you should uh, read your questions and then according to that questions you are going to scan your answer in your passage so scan your answer scan here in the sense scan your answer means you have to search your answer uh, in that passage because you had already underlined those general ideas main ideas and you are able to scan the answer and next after scanning your answer write those answers in proper order don't make it jumble proper order is very necessary okay so dear students uh, i have written a passage on the board and you have to see the passage and we i am going to read it and you have to see very carefully as i told you that before solving the passage tackle the passage in the exam you need to read it first very quickly so we are going to do uh, that reading and i am going to read in front of you and you have to see the passage very carefully first reading reading once one summer evening i was sitting by the open window reading a good but rather frightening mystery story after a time it became too dark for me to read easily so i put my book down and got up to switch on the light 
I was just about to draw the curtain as well when I heard a loud cry of help help it seemed to come from the trees at the end of the garden I looked out but it was now too dark to see anything clearly almost immediately I heard the cry again it sounded like a child although I could not imagine how anybody could need help in our garden unless one of the boys of the neighborhood had climbed a tree and could not get down i decided however that i ought to go out and have a look in the garden just in case someone was in trouble i took the torch which we keep for going down into the cellar where there is no electric light and picked up a strong walking stick thinking that this might come in use too armed with these i went out into the garden Once again I heard the cry there was no doubt that it came from the trees at the end of the garden who's there i called out as i walked rather nervously down the path that led to the trees but there was no answer with the help of my torch i examined the whole of the part of the garden and the lower branches of the trees there was no sign of any body or anything I came to the conclusion that someone was playing rather silly joke on me. So, as I read this passage in front of you and I said that first we have to read very quickly and second time when we read very quickly then we have to identify some main points by highlighting it. So, I had already done for you one summer evening and then reading a good but rather frightening mystery story so i here it means the boy the narrator the writer so so what he was doing was reading a good book rather frightening mystery already the keyword is given here frightening also mystery also after a time it came to dark and for me to read easily so it's only about the book and now i had underlined which i think the second important part i heard a loud cry of the help help then i had highlighted the main idea it was now too dark to see anything and then i have highlighted the point i decided however that i ought to go out and have a look in the garden and just in case someone was in trouble so these are the main ideas which i have highlighted once again i heard the cry there was no doubt that it came from the trees at the end of the garden who's there i called out as i walked rather nervously down path led to the trees so these are also the point which i think is important and at the last i came to the conclusion that someone was playing a rather silly joke on me so these are the main points first time you just uh, read very quickly rapidly and second time when you read you are going to see the main points and you are going to highlight those points for the general idea of the passage and third point is what you are going to do is you are going to uh, see the set of questions now let's see the set of questions okay students let's see uh, the question write true for the true statement and false for the false statement and the marks is 4 into 0.5 is equal to 2 so there are four items given each uh, each belongs to 0.5 and so total is 2 marks so you have to crack the this question of true marks by writing answer very correctly so let's do it what you have to do you have to read the set of questions my third point the writer was having dinner when he heard a loud cry of help so did you find anywhere this line in the passage that writer was having dinner while he heard a loud cry so you can check your main points where you have underlined reading a book and he heard a loud cry and then it was very dark to see anything i ought to go out he wants to help someone in the garden and once again i heard the cry he again heard the cry and and he asked for that and he found no one in the garden so you found that this statement is not given in the sentence so the answer is false
answer is false i am just making a box to highlight you the sound seem to come from the garden outside now what do you think is it correct the sound seem to come from the garden outside yes is true the answer is true and he took no notice of the cry he avoided the cry and he just kept on reading his book so in your main points you can check what did he i heard a loud cry of the helper in the key point it is he, he heard it he didn't avoid it he took no notice of the cry is false he found nobody in the garden so what do you think is it true he looked he came there by taking his torch he came there he tried to find out and he found no one at the conclusion in the this key idea i came to the conclusion that someone was playing a rather silly joke on me so he is saying that he didn't find anyone in the garden and the your question is he found nobody in the garden so is true or false yes it's true so so this is what we had done in the th first point quick uh, very rapidly quick reading rapid reading the second highlight the point main points and third you read the set of questions and then scan the answers from those those key ideas so now let's see the other answer so other questions other set of questions okay let's see the next question uh, next question is question number b put the following sentences in correct order this is also four items given each belongs to point 5 so total marks is 2 marks just now we had done the four questions of 2 marks and now that was true false and now we are going to do this um now making a correct order this also belongs to two marks uh put in the order means what you are supposed to do you have to make a order of sequence jun yo kahani hamro chali rako huncha ni yo kahani le euta order ma jun ghatna kram hamle jun anusar hamle yo passage ma padeko cha tyo ghatna kram jasari bhayo tei ghatna kram lai hamle order ma milaune ho ani yaha chai jumble way ma dekho cha so many students very often make mistake thinking that they make the order of the sentence you don't have to make the order of the sentence you have to make the order of the sequence of the events so ab important point maile ke bhannu cha bhane yo order garda kire dherai jati students harle ke garcha bhane yo words haru le nai order gardeko huncha words lai order garne haina words already um, sensible sentence cha यो वर्ड्स अर्डर नगरिकन हमें यो इवेंट जो हम जो घटना क्रमिक रूप से यहाँ प्रस्तुत करते यहाँ प्याराग्राफ में खोजे करने नाउ लेट्स सी हाउ टू डू इट पर हैप समवन वॉज प्लेइंग रैदर सिली जोक ऑन हिम सो पर हैप समवन सो व्हाट डू यू थिंक यो कह आम पैसेज में यो लास्ट में घटे कि सुरू में घटे सुरू में राइटर के करो नारेटर के कर ऊ तो रिडिंग ही वॉज रिडिंग बुक है सो यो लास्ट इवेंट हमें आपको लास्ट को मेन पॉइंट्स में पाँच इफ यू चेक इट इफ यू सी अगेन सो ही इज सेंग दैट आई केम टू द कंक्लूजन दैट समवन वॉज प्लेइंग रैदर सिली जोक ऑन मी ठेक्क यो जो हम पॉइंट्स पर हैप समवन वॉज प्लेइंग यो सिली जोक भो कुछ हमें ठैक्क हमें लास्ट लाइन में पाँच सो लास्ट लाइन इसको मतलब के हो यो लास्ट में क्रमिक रूप से हमी जी यो कुरो अंत में भाग अनि अब यहाँ फोर आइटम होना यो हम फोर्थ नंबर में आने हो द राइटर थट टू गो आउटसाइड एंड हेव अ लुक अब राइटर ने सोच म बाहर गए हे के होने यो कह पाँच तो हम मेन पॉइंट्स में लेट्स सी रिडिंग अ बुक हर्ड अ लाउड क्राय हेल्प हेल्प आई हर्ड द क्राई अगेन इट साउंडेड लाइक अ चाइल्ड 
I ought to go out and have a look in the garden just in case of someone was in trouble. So you you यहाँ को main points थी रा हमले पाऊँ सो यो कुरा. So त्योल तो हमले last event पा order already दी सके. Now let's see some more. अब आरु कहाँ का कुन कुन घटना क्रम क्रमिक रूपले कहाँ का पढ़ दो रही था. He heard a loud cry shouting for help. अनि यो I heard a loud cry for help help. अनि यो चाहिए कुरा यहाँ. अंतिस पची the writer was reading a Frightening and mysterious story. यो तो first में ही बने कुछ हो। जो writer mysterious story पढ़ी रहते हो। ये उधर डर लग दो कहानी किताब में पढ़ी रहा कुछ अन्य रहस्य में mysterious। अंते वैरा यो mysterious story यहाँ उन्हें उन्हें लियो। Number one position में आऊँ सा। अन्य यो he heard a loud cry। यहाँ आऊँ सा। यो बनना पहला यो आऊँ सा। घटना क्रम। अन्य यो चाहे two number में आऊँ सा। Event अनि फिर वो उठेरा बाहर है हिरनो जान सा त्यो कुरा से हमने यो पॉइंट पाव आने को जा सो दिस इज़ द थर्ड नंबर अब हम रो सीक्वेंस मिले हो हम रो इवेंट क्रोनोलॉजिकल ऑर्डर में क्रमिक रूप में मिले हो नंबर वन टू थ्री फोर सो डूइंग इन द एग्जाम लाइक दिस इज़ नॉट इनफ एग्जाम में फिरी इतनी मात्रे गरेर because examiner is not going to give you marks. So for marks, what you have to do, you have to write this thing in order. Now let's see, I'll just write for you. Okay, so students, I have just uh, written in a correct order. This is the correct order because this is the first event happens according to the story. And then secondly, he heard a loud cry shouting for help. Thirdly, the writer thought to go outside and have a look. And fourthly, perhaps someone was playing rather silly joke on him. This is the last part. You can check the writer was reading in the key main idea. You have already marked it. And the two heard a loud cry. So here he heard a loud cry. Cry. Writer thought to go outside in this main idea. He is going outside. And the last one, perhaps he is saying that someone is playing a silly joke on him. So, in this way, you can order your sentences according to the chronological events. Kramik ruple, jo ghatta kram jun anusar bhaako sa yo story ma, te anusar yaan lekhne. Kati pahi lekta kiri students le, A, B, C, D ko agadi, isto gara lekhne. So, this is the wrong method of writing. You are not going to get any marks. This is quite confusing. Never do this. You have to write in a proper order. Now, let's see the... Next questions number C. So question number one uh, C. As I said, there are there will be three items. I am going to write, and each question contains two marks, and so you will have three into two equal to six marks, and total ten marks. So why did the writer get up to switch on the light? Now the question is, <coughs> writer bati balun ki na utheko. In the first, in this paragraph, in the very first line, in the main idea where you have highlighted, yane answer deko sa. After a time, it became too dark for me to read easily. So I put my books down and got up to switch on the light. Ya karan ki vani sa vani. Ule parda parda iti adhyaro bayo. Kepani dekhni sa ke na adhyaro legar da tei baro bati balnu utho. Ya question sa. Why did the writer get up to switch on the light? So now you can write your answer in this way. <coughs> he got up to switch on the light instead of the writer. What you can say? He pronoun. He got up to. He got up to switch on the light. because it was too dark too dark for him to see anything so this can be the One more important thing you have to keep in mind is, as I have said, you have to write the answer in the tense which is asked. 
the question given why did the writer got up to switch on the light means the writer is given uh, sorry question is given in the past tense simple past tense so you are supposed to give your answer also in the past tense jun tense ma question so deko cha tyai tense ma hamle answer pani lekhnu parne huncha jasto question simple present ma so deko cha bhane simple present ma ani uh, simple past ma so deko cha bhane answer pani simple past ma lekhne this is the demand of this comprehension passage he got up to switch on the light he got up to switch on the light because it was too dark for him to see anything or to read anything u ta pahila kitab padhi rakhe thyo haina he was reading a book and now he is not able to read book anymore because of the darkness now let's see the question number next where did the cry of help come from where did the cry of help come from where did the cry of help come from so this is the next question in this question where did the cry of help come from again the question is asked in the past tense so where do you find the answer you have already the cry of help help it seem to come from the trees at the end of the garden very easily you can scan your answer very clearly mention here it seemed to come from the trees at the end of the answer you can write this line in your book because this is exactly what given but tara pani answer lekhda ke aphnai shabd ma lekhne bhanera hamle yo comprehension passage ko rule haru padeko thyo aphnai shabd ma lekhda better huncha so where did the cry of help come from it seemed to come it seemed to come from at the end of the garden at the end of the garden so so this is the uh, answer b and then the last c question number c is how did the writer get prepared to go out how did the writer how did the writer how did the writer get prepared get prepared to go out <coughs> answer see now what is the meaning of question how did the writer get prepared to go out it means what preparation writer does to go outside means u baira janu lagda ki ule afu sanga ke ke taiyari garcha baira janu teti ta janu bhayena it was so dark so he was looking for a torch if you remember and pick up a strong walking stick ya baneko cha i took the torch i baneko writer took the torch which we keep for going down into the cellar where there is no electric light and picked up a strong walking walking stick ani ya hamle ke paunchau bhane फर्स्ट में उसे टर्च लियो अकेंड में उसे एट वॉकिंग स्टिक लियो सो द वे यू कैन राइट योर आंसर इज ओके सो आंसर नंबर सी एज आई टोल्ड यू दैट यू हैव फाउंड द राइटर टुक द ही टुक द टर्च ही टुक द वॉकिंग स्टिक बट यू हैव टू कीप इन माइंड दिस इज द टू मार्क्स फर इच नंबर टू मार्क्स मीन्स मीन्स अ लट दुई नंबर को लगी टर्च र स्टिक इफ यू राइट तब आंसर लेख्खे 
टर्च अम ला वकिंग स्टिक लक्स पाऊदन ओन्ली हाफ मक्स यो तो टू मक्स को टू मक्स को लगी यू हेव टू राइट द फुल सेंटेन्स लाई द राइटर टुक द टर्च द राइटर टुक द टर्च हम पास टेन्स हो पास टेन्स में क्वेश्चन सोते फोर गोइंग डाउन इन टू द सैलर सैलर में जानू उसे एक्सप्लेन भी है टर्च क्यों कध्यारो थो अलर में जानू पर्थ्य वेर देर इज नो इलेक्ट्रिक लाइट एंड पिक्ड अप अ स्ट्रंग वकिंग स्टिक अ वकिंग स्टिक ने हिड़ू में उस हेल्प होने यो ले सो यो कम्प्लीट आंसर लेखे मत यो हमें टू में टू पाँच सो नाउ यू हेड तब को पेला क्वेश्चन थी ए मो ट्रू फॉल्स अी में थो अर्डर सी में थो क्वेश्चन्स ट्रू फॉल्स टू मक्स को यो अर्डर टू मक्स को सिक्स मक को सिक्स सेवेन एट नाइन टेन सो टोटल कंप्रिहेन्सन प्राय इन द एक्जाम में एक्जाम में प्राय क्वेश्चन आँच टेन मक्स को पैसेज अथवा फिफ्टीन मक्स को पैसेज आँदे तब को टारगेट के होने तब टेन में टेन लियाने ओके क्योंकि हमें पैल कम लियां तो हम प्लान होते हैं पैले टेन में टेन लियाने एटा क्वेश्चन मिस्टेक नगर्ने नो स्पेलिंग मिस्टेक दैट सुड बी योर टारगेट टू सल्व द कम्प्रिहेन्सन वेरी वेरी प्रपरली एंड कन्फिडेन्टली दीज आर द वेरी वेरी इंपोर्टेंट टिप्स विच आई हेव सैड सो जस्ट रीड द मेन आइडिया हाईलाइटेड विथ योर पेन्सिल एंड लुक एट द की वर्ड्स स्कैन करने को मुख्य 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 आइडिया हो की वर्ड्स देखो तो वर्ड्स ने ना था पाँच कि इसको आंसर यो यो लाइन में होगा लास्ट प्याराग्राफ में होगा के भन्न खोजे हमें बुझ ओके होप सो नेक्स्ट टाइम एंड यू गेट्स सच क्वेश्चन यू आर एबल टू डू वेरी नाइसली थैंक यू सो मच